I'm Maria with Pine Bluff, then and now in Emerald videos, and you will not believe who I am with today. Today I'm with a real royalty, the finest of Pine Bluff. Oh. The name is? Hi, I'm Joy Blankenship, executive Yay. director of Pine Bluff Downtown Development. Yes. Thanks uh, for being with us today. Awesome. And as you can see behind us, I hope you can see the reflection, but um, yeah, you can see the historic they say it's Dexter House, and when was it built? Dexter Harding House was built in 1853. Can you believe that? It's amazing. You should come visit. But uh, we're going to start out with Shout Out Award. It's our weekly Shout Out Award. And Joy, who does it give it to this? Oh, I'm so excited about this person. Pine Bluff, then and now, gives a Shout Out Award to Leslie Dorn. Woo! Congratulations, Leslie. Thank you so much for your service. You are amazing and a definitely a jewel, jewel of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And I'm going to hold this. We have another announcement to make. All right. And you will not believe what we have. Ah! Yes. We're what is this? Pop up Pine Bluff. Pop up in the Bluff on Saturday, October the 7th. 11 to 3 right here on Verakee Street from Pine to Chestnut. We want everybody to come and have a good time. So what is going to be there? There will be 21 vendors there, Marina. Okay. They'll all be showing us what could be in our area. There will be shepherd's floors with flowers. There will be natural bliss with natural products. We have three food trucks. Food! I love to eat. We okay. have uh, Jamie McAfee, Farm to Table. He's giving away samples of, of his Wares. We're having mountain berry yogurt for Woo -woo. the kids. Yes. The fun thing for the kids will be putt putt golf. And one of the, it'll be in one of the buildings down here where the kids can play a little bit of golf game. And there, you know, there'll be children's activities. What about Miss Margaret? Miss Margaret will be open and the she'll cup be young. Yes, those good cupcakes. Hi, Liz Leslie. Did she just join? We just gave you an award. Hi, Leslie. Yes, we just gave you an award. Look. Uh, sorry. Can we hold it? Yeah, I don't know when you joined, but she may have to go. Wait a minute, I'll get it for you, Leslie. We're gonna get it just there for you, are. Leslie. There you go. Here you go, Leslie. Leslie, congratulations. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you so much for what you do for the community. Yes, but just want to invite you guys to the pop up and come and see Pine Bluff. Uh, you know the develop the downtown development building is awesome. And share this video. We're about to talk about what they do, and we can just. Right. Leave it here. I know nothing about Pine Bluff downtown development besides I saw their Facebook page and I know Miss Joy. Okay, well, what we do actually, our mission is to revitalize the central business district, which is the heart of our city. You know, you have to have a good heart to have a good city, and we're trying to make our heart strong and viable. One of our things that we do are the murals in our downtown to draw people down here. We have worked on the Searson Landing, that's also our project with the trail that's about to be it. complete. I love it. And I walk there all the time. Yeah. I, hope, I hope I look good because I walk on Saturday I'm sure you do. The okay. eighth phase we will be dedicating next month. So be ready for that. We'll let you know. Also, they're going to be all-inclusive all playground area for children of all abilities. That'll yes. be fun. I heard about it on the city council meeting. Right. Tell me more. Well, we got a lot of grant funding and children that uh, do not have a built as you know like wheelchairs and other things with them will work with children that have abilities and so it'll be a great thing for everybody yeah all kids right next to the splash pad see wonderful and hopefully it's going to be a highlight for the young oh, folks yeah, it is. like in the summer evening way to go let's yep. go to the playground that's right right awesome. it'll be perfect it'll be perfect we Hi. also work on other things you know, lots of things. We're about to do a streetscape downtown. That's going to be a $4.3 million project. What? What is well, it? Well, look, like it does now. What is, like, you're going to do some, like, I don't Beautification. Know. Four lanes of our traffic will be turned to two lanes. There'll be sidewalks extended out. There'll be places for our restaurants to eat outside. Yes. And really nice street trees. Oh my goodness, yes. 4.3 million dollars. 4.3 million. Praise the Lord for you Praise guys the for, Lord. for doing that because Pine Bluff needs that and more. I agree with so you. So I always say we have things that are happening, but we need more. We <laughs> so do. this is good. This is more. Well, so. it has a domino effect, Marina. I think once we people see this, more people are gonna wanna be in our downtown, have their buildings. We'll have probably not the 
Walmarts or the dealers, but we'll have niche shopping. Yeah. That's the, you know, the stuff that, you know, everybody wants to go see. So, okay. I think that'll be Let fun. Let me do something, because the camera's on this side. All right. Here we go. I want you to be in, but, okay, right. that's better. So, I'm excited about that. How long have you, you so right you, that way? yeah, so you guys, by the way, we're on Baraka Street, Baraka Street, so this is where, like, how is it going to work, the pop-up? Okay, the pop-up will be from Chestnut to Pine Street. Okay. We're going to slow the traffic down. Oh, We're going to really? have hay bales down the middle of this street. Where the stage for the band will be? The stage will be in Bear Q Plaza. And yes. there's a beer garden. Beer garden. A beer garden. What's beer garden? A beer garden is where it's outside. We'll be giving away free beer. Wow. And some of it will be Lost 40 beer. It'll be the, look at that. You need to take care oh of that Oh my one. goodness. What is that? <laughs> Isn't that cute? So see, this is where it will start. It will start right here. On a... Chestnut and Bear Cube. I don't know what this is, but this is cute, you guys. Isn't that cute? Happy Halloween. It's just a little attraction. <laughs> The, there will not be able, the cars will not be able to park here. They'll just can go down there and see how cool it'll, you know, will be. There'll be vendors out to right here. Yeah. Cars can slowly go down. It's going to be busy. They can park in the courthouse parking lot. I'm definitely going to come and say hello. Oh, I hope so. Because I am supportive of every business thank you, thank that's going to be there. And by the way, we actually... Um, going by Miss Margaret, Margaret's she'll be back. open. Her cupcakes will be ready and go. lunch. Here you go. See the Miss Margaret right here, up and right. Beautiful. Tell me, so you guys are nonprofit? We are nonprofit. We've been in a nonprofit for 29 years. What? Yes. Hats off to you, uh, nonprofit. 29. Uh, some of the stuff we do, you can't really see, but it's there. You know, we do it underneath. We're the underpinning of a lot of good things. Yeah. We uh, started the Enchanted Land of Lights and Legends. The United Way really? building is there because of us. Yeah. To bring people down here. Wow, amazing. And see, you guys are so humble. Like, we don't really know much what you guys do, but you just do it behind the scenes. We do. So. We wrote a letter to Simmons and got their $100,000. And we parlayed $100,000 to $4.5 million buildings there. The Saracen Landing is right now. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Say that again. I wrote uh, Simmons. It was their 100 year anniversary. Okay. And I asked that we have a new farmer's market in our downtown. Okay. And so fortunately we got that for the city. Look, look at this. And we decided that we would build a bridge out on the lake to make a new farmer's market. And then we started gathering more money, more money, more money. So, so that was built being, thanks to you. Well, thanks not to just me, but a lot of people. Not yeah, me we, personally, but me pushing. Yeah, so that project ended up being $4.5 million because we built a bridge. Jefferson County Bridge Crew built a bridge over the lake and we put our pavilions on it. Wow, yep. you would never think, well, forgive me, that it would cost that much. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> concrete and steel, see, that had to go down a long way with steel to build the underpinning for the, to, for the pavilion. Wow. So, anyway, what, el what else, like, tell me, like, it's amazing. You guys have any annual events now? I'm pretty sure pop-up is going to be annual. Oh, I think pop-up okay. will be annual. We uh, had done a Christmas in Old Town in the last years, you know, for 10 years we did that for the community, for our children. Yeah. in the afternoon after the parade so we had done that and it kind of reached its peak so we decided we'd try this and see what could be in our downtown and i think it's going to be fun yeah it's definitely going to be fun because so many people are asking for things to do right so it's finally here it is all people need to do is just show up That's even for right. a few minutes because right. it's going to be for several hours right what are the hours of a pop-up the hours Again. are three I mean, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it will be at Barracute Plaza also. Just come enjoy and hear the music. We'll have musicians playing. Yay. Uh, soft music, not big bands, but like uh, Dave Sadler, Pine Bluff Nutty will be there with his guitar. Katie Farron, a Pine Bluff Nutty will be there singing and playing. Yeah, I so, love Chris and Cash, a lot of good stuff. When you say, when you say, 
Barracue Plaza. Uh -huh. What is that? Is that, that, that those buildings? Oh. Now, Barracue Plaza is right here where we have food trucks during the day sometimes. So, this. Right. How it's much? Pine, and it's a half a block area where we put planters and made it look pretty. And we have a barbecue garden by it. How much was that project? I'm pretty sure it was, you know. We kind of did that one simply. It was probably the most $25,000. For those benches and those trees. Uh -huh. Hey. All that stuff. 25000 yep. We're about to show you guys. 25000 <laughs> People just, and see, not a lot of people come here just like to hang out. Right. So we're about to show you 25000 project. Well, and it goes on down here to the garden area because we have nice things. So. Here we go. 25000 uh, dollar project amazing amazing and so it goes down there you say right because we had to bring in a lot of dirt the you know the concrete we had to do a lot of good things so see that's what it cost actually it was just a yeah terrible desolate area in our downtown and now so it's really nice right. natural bliss on the house crystal call natural bliss we're actually looking forward to you coming to us you know on, on a saturday so that's it's right. awesome and we would love natural bliss to be in our downtown Yes. Permanently. Natural bliss, come on to Pine Bluff. <laughs> awesome. Anything else you want to add about what you guys do? How can community get involved helping your nonprofit? They can call us 536-8742, area code 870, or come to our the Dexter Harding House, 110 North Pine, and just visit with us. We'd love to have you. Yeah, I, I'm already saying to them, if you plan the next event, keep me in mind because I love what you guys do and I'd love to get well, involved. Well, we have fun. We work hard, but we have fun doing it. And that's, yeah. the, that's the most important thing. All right. Uh, we can just keep going because I right. have a couple of more questions. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show the positive pine bluff. I'm so sorry. We got so excited about Leslie, Leslie coming back. Uh, here you go. Positive pine bluff written by Michelle. Okay, I just want to ask you real quickly, what do you think about Pine Bluff now and what do you think about the future of Pine Bluff? Oh, the future of Pine Bluff is so bright. We're on the cusp, but I think it's just an explosion of good things. I think with Go Forward, with all our streetscape, I think there is a positive atmosphere now. Where there had been a kind of a negative down in the mouth one, we're very positive. Yes, and I don't know if you saw the video that I just made. I mean, I want, uh, yesterday, I want Pine Bluff to be described with different words. And so it is happening and we're finally excited. That's right. And Pine Bluff is positive, Pine Bluff is proactive, Pine Bluff is progressive. I mean, the words that I described in the video, united, hardworking, problem solving, optimistic, hopeful. Um, I don't remember what else I said. All are great words. Yeah, so we finally have a better reputation, you guys, and we thank you so much that you're part of it. And the best way to be part of it, definitely support the downtown development right, here's organization. One of our murals. Yes, we're about to show you the murals. And uh, please tell us before I show what it is. This is the uh, Arkansas mural. The Arkansas flag was made by Miss Willie Hawker, who is depicted here. This mural has been uh, repurposed and redone. It was built first of all in 1995 and we painted it again in 2014. So on the Martha Mitchell Freeway, so it kind of lets everybody show. Yeah, because you can see mm -hmm. You could see it. Amazing. And like just kind of get us an idea because people think it's just picture. How much does it cost to rebuild, to repaint the mural? 25000 Oh my god! So I do that through grants, the Arkansas Community Foundation, the Pine Bluff Area Community Foundation help. I write grants wherever I can. It does not come of our operating budget, but through grant funding. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna even, uh, you can just stand there too, right. so they will see the size of it. It is a big deal. Look, $25,000 project, you guys. So next time you see it, Come and say uh, hello to Miss Joy and thank her for making this happen. This is amazing, okay? This is amazing. So definitely value what we have in Pine Bluff. It does not come easy. Yes, amazing. So I, I just want to thank you so much oh, for what you do. I, I've learned so much thank today. You. Thank you. And hopefully you guys have learned uh, a lot today about the upcoming event. About, and as you said, you said you do Christmas, those lights. That's what right. You, Right, we started the lights, we help with the lighting. We don't actually 
physically go down there, but we started the Enchanted Land of Lights and Legends. And it's amazing. I've been there several, several times. Right. So I just want to thank you, you guys. Definitely come out for Christmas to that event as well. Support downtown development. Come up to the Papa. Be involved. A lot of great things are happening in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. So, yes, what do you want to say the last words to Pine Bluff? Well, again, we use the word positive, but that is, we are positively Pine Bluff. Anytime we do something great, it all reflects back on us, and we get good publicity. Thank you, Maureen, on this, uh -oh. and all my friends. Yes, all your friends. Again, I want to thank you so much for your time. I know it's hot. You're I know welcome. it's lunch. You're probably hungry, but thank oh, you for your time. Thank you. And it's great. You look gorgeous. You look like gorgeous, too. Thank yes, you. Yes, we love you. Thank you. All right, you guys, share this video, and do not forget, come up to what? Pop up. In the Bluff. Bluff. Up in the bluff. Okay. Bye. Bye, -bye.